Howdy, this is Clouds, and today I'm looking at a round of Rush on Propaganda as the defending team. One of the key aspects on the first MCOM base for Propaganda is watching this Bravo lane. I find it's usually fairly neglected by the defending team, and it's very important to watch this area because if the attackers can get Bravo, often they will come up through that Bravo alleyway and then attack Alpha from the sides as they head up the plaza, or they'll go all the way around and attack Alpha from behind. See here, I'm using the, the flurs pretty good for this map because uh, it's very gray and white. Often enemy players can blend into the background. So the flur is pretty good. And you'll see right now I'm playing a role which is very important, you know, watching Bravo, watching this entire lane to make sure the enemy doesn't flank us. But uh, I'm not getting a lot of action, not getting a lot of kills, and I'm getting kind of bored and antsy. But it's always important to play the role, which might not get you the most points, but it's still important to do. Although not everyone's perfect, and uh, I'm definitely not perfect, I'll admit that. And even though I know I really should be watching Bravo, I'm getting bored, I'm thinking to myself, it's been like two minutes, and I have one kill. That's like 0.5 kills per minute, dude. So, duh. I make a big mistake, and uh, I abandon Bravo. Well, all right, well, I don't completely abandon it. Um, I do put down some Claymores at Bravo. And I'm pretty good with the Claymores. I have over 250 confirmed Claymore kills in Battlefield 4. I don't want to be like braggadocious, but uh, I'm quite good with Claymores. So yeah, I leave Bravo, head to get some kills. Look at this Fleur. I instantly am able to spot this guy. The Fleur is so good for... um bipod LMGs, I find. Also, look at the minimap. As soon as I leave Bravo unattended, it the enemy is headed towards Bravo. Look, I can't kill this guy. I was bragging about my Claymore placement, but this guy, like, kangaroo jumps through the Claymore wires. And, uh, yeah, he arms the MCOM. This, the loss of Bravo, it's, I mean, it's obviously, it's a failure on the entire defending team. But I did sort of feel a personal responsibility for losing Bravo, because at the beginning of the game, I, I did choose that role. I was like, okay, I'm going to be that dude who watches Bravo. But, uh, <laughs> I abandoned it. You'll see here, enemy team making they're doing exactly what i feared they would do take bravo and then flank us right here i decide i can't play the passive bipod lmg role so i switch to a carbine also get rid of flares and yeah the enemy is doing exactly what i feared they're coming up along the side of the plaza up towards alpha and they're just killing everyone and they nearly get Alpha. The only reason they don't is because this dude, I Love Powder, he gets like a clutch double kill and saves Alpha. So, good job for him. Right now, just trying to clear Alpha. I see, I saw an enemy over here. I want to make sure he's not flanking. I see him on the ground. He got killed, so this area is clear. Look at my teammates. They do not learn their lesson. 
they go right back up to the enemy spawn, which is, uh, I don't think that's a good tactic. Look at, I love powder. He says thanks for the ammo. This guy, he says, he gets clutch double kills, and he says thanks for the ammo. What a great player. He's like the ideal player. Again, you see an enemy somehow came from behind us, so... I suspect that the enemy team is um, flanking along Bravo still and coming up from behind and from the sides, so I go to investigate, and that's what I'm doing. Just uh, looking for some targets. I see this guy. I don't spot him. I do spot his buddy. And uh, take notice of this. I don't go charging in right towards the corner of that building. I hang back. So I can crouch behind cover and just expose a smaller target for the enemy to shoot at, which uh, gives me the advantage. I only kill one guy. I know there's at least one more guy over here because I did see two people. And I decided to go around this way so I, uh, I have some cover. Maybe if I engage the target. Kind of hard to see anything. I don't spot him. Here he is. So this enemy team, they're um they're making great use of this flanking route. And uh, I find that's a mistake defenders often make. As soon as they lose an MCOM, they just completely abandon the area. Which is uh, not good. Because if you just leave an entire section of the map open, it's just like a free flanking route. For the attackers and they can just sort of like casually prance through and then just flank to the next MCOM. Just not good at all. I, I think I know there's still some guys back here so I'm still trying to spot some guys out. Worried about them coming from I know they might use this sort of alleyway to attack from the side so I'm investigating this in the back. I see movement, so I, I know there's a guy back here. And as I head up this way, I see a radio beacon. So I know we got one recon. This guy got rezzed, so there's a recon and a medic. Notice here, as I come out this doorway, I don't instantly turn around to engage the enemy. I come back here behind the hill Again, so I can provide like a smaller target for the enemy to shoot at. Which, uh, it, the way you engage enemies, you always want to be mindful of that. Trying to, uh, tip the odds in your favor by providing a smaller target for them to shoot at. You also, if you look on the minimap, uh, finally I got some blueberries who have taken notice of the enemy team flanking along this Bravo area and uh, they're helping me watch this so good job for them oh this part's really weird I start engaging these guys in the alleyway but I get suppressed I'm like getting shot at from behind I have no idea what was happening it felt like I I was certain I was getting shot at from over this way over towards the eastern section of the map. So I go to investigate, but uh, there's nobody over here. I was, um, I was quite befuddled. Yeah, nobody's here. Anyway, oh, look at the mini, look at the mini map here. There's three dead teammates, and look at the top right of the mini map. There's a blueberry out of bounds. He's not even falling back when there's obviously enemies behind him. Oh, look at this strong tactic by the enemy team as well. They're using smoke and flashbangs. And as we're distracted by the smoke and flashbangs, they don't even attack us. They just go around us to get to the MCOM. So this group of enemy players that are flanking us, I mean, they're, they're pretty good. They know what they're doing. They've noticed that Bravo, that area of the map, is pretty much abandoned and they're using it to flank. 
and they're doing a fairly decent job of it. Again, they're still over. There's obviously a beacon somewhere, but I'm not recon, so I can't like switch to an MAV to spot it out. So I'm just hanging back, defending. Not able to kill this guy. He looked like a medic, so I didn't want to like chase after him. Also, he dropped smoke, so I definitely don't want to go chasing after him now. And as my teammate is chasing that guy, the enemy's teammate comes up and shoots him in the back. So these guys flanking along Bravo, they're pretty good. The only mistake I would say they made, well it's not really their mistake, it's the enemy's mistake. If more enemies were flanking us along this area, they definitely would have taken this MCOM base, I figured. Since there was only like four enemies coming at a time, we were able to successfully contain their flanking, which uh, led to victory for us. So, yeah, the enemy nearly, if they had like three more tickets, they may have gotten this, but it's too late. So, I think this round shows how important it is to watch your flanks. And even when you lose an MCOM, you still need to watch that area so the enemy doesn't use it to flank you. Um, if you have any thoughts or feedback, I'd be glad to hear it. And thanks for watching.